Well, and this is my faithful butler in your lives. No nope. today, boys. You're the chosen like one. Very metaphorical. Oh, my God, let's go. Jump. Shut up. Oh, my God. We're still watching. Welcome. My name is David Winters Collada the First. When I was in high school, I created a short film entitled Lasagna, about an ancient artifact known only as Lasagna. It resembled a DVD case, and when opened, it would suck its user into a world of cascading and spiraling madness until the entire universe and every universe was destroyed. Since then, I have created one 45 minute short, one 100 minute feature film, another 45 minute short, one 27 minute TV pilot, and one 20 minute documentary, all set within the cinematic universe, set up within Lasagna. This is The Lasagna Show. Welcome back to The Lasagna Show. Our next guest tonight is world-renowned performance artist, political activist, and creator of The Showstopper Project. Ladies and gentlemen, may I humbly present to you the man behind and in front of the curtain, the one, the only, Gonzo Green! Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. We're very glad to have you here tonight. Yes, it's, uh, it's very good to be here. We're, we're quite honored to have you here. You're quite a tough guy to track down. Yes, uh, I don't get out much, but the lasagna show? How can I pass that up? You're too kind. All right, now let's jump right into it. This is you. Yes, uh, that's me. Care to elaborate? Right, uh, so that's me as the showstopper. It was a character I created to be the world's first supervillain. Right. Now, you've recently been described by LNN as a dangerous, babbling, nonsensical maniac. Make no mistake, the artist known as Gonzo Green is not an artist masquerading as a terrorist, but a terrorist masquerading as an artist. How do you respond to that label? Terrorist. Well, I'm an artist first and foremost. Everything else comes after that. But the definition of a terrorist? I don't know. A, a terrorist terrorizes. Are horror directors terrorists? Are scary clowns terrorists? Are you a terrorist? Uh, well, I, I've i never incited riots. I've never... <laughs> I've never killed anyone. And I don't encourage violence of any kind. I just like creating characters. The world's first supervillain, right? If you're going to change the world, you might as well do it with a little pizzazz. I think, uh, I think we have a clip. Welcome to the Showstopper Project. The world's on fire, and the flames only getting hotter. It's all a bad joke, and nobody's laughing. And we should, we should be laughing, because it's funny. The world's on fire, and I'm going to add it. Because it's funny. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> To those of you just tuning in, what you just witnessed was footage broadcast live by terrorist Gonzo Green, a.k.a. The Showstopper, issuing a vague threat against American citizens. Joining us now to discuss this footage is political activist and self-proclaimed superhero, Interrobang. Thank you, Interrobang. We're glad to have you here tonight. Thank you. It's good to be here. Now, what can you tell us about Gonzo Green and your experience working against him? Well... Gonzo Green is a nihilist. He doesn't care about institutions. He doesn't care about human lives. He only cares about one thing. Attention. What do you think is the worst thing Gonzo would do in order to get attention? The question isn't what would he do. The question is, what wouldn't he do? Truly disturbing. Now, can you tell us anything about Gonzo's latest work, The Showstopper Project? Uh, right. Um, the 
the showstopper project ladies and gentlemen arsonists and thieves criminals of all ages may i humbly present to you in Bang! <laughs> what's the matter the only voice of reason left in the world suddenly can't find anything to say Oh, I knew that was bad, but it didn't give you the invitation to interrupt me. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to all those that dare stand in the way of art. You point and laugh at all sorts of madness and horrors you see on television. But as soon as it's real, it's a whole different story. Well, this is my story now, and none of it is real. <laughs> Ta-da! My name is Alexander Socrates Margot. I'm an adventurer, philosopher, metaphysician, and as I've recently discovered, fictional character in this book. I don't know where this book came from, but everything written in it is true, perfectly transcribed. Events no one other than myself could possibly... If I'm not real, I have to figure out what's going on. The author of the book, she was a character in a TV show recorded to this VHS tape. There seem to be layers to all of this, and there must be some way to climb them. In my studies, I've discovered to not only as lasagna through a world of cascading and maddening reality, the real world, where their minds are ultimately destroyed. Maybe my only studying lasagna, the more I come to understand. I'm but one man, but there's an infinity out there. Even if I am real, I don't think I matter. I don't think any of this matters. But I really hope I'm wrong. Eureka! Reality is lasagna. Layers atop layers. Continuities within continuity. Has created a device. Derivative of lasagna. Peel back the layer. Reach the base reality. The unfortunate possibility that all of reality is destroyed. But if none of this is real, then it doesn't matter anyway. I call myself Dr. Nihilus. I'm going to pretend to be insane. Unleash the full power of my device, which the world will soon come to know as... Meatloaf! Wow, that's, uh, that's a lot to take in. Yes, uh, I know it can be a bit much for most, but hopefully people can soon come to see the world the way I do. How exactly is that? Well, once I figured out that none of this is real, it became a lot easier to make my art. What do you mean, none of this is real? My first character, Dr. Nihilus. He was my first attempt at a supervillain. And he was alright, but it wasn't until after my failed attempt to destroy the universe. I, I remember that! You, you held the world hostage with that, um, that device! Meatloaf? Yes! Yes! Uh, whatever happened to that thing? It was taken from me. But through using it, I was able to access a world beyond our reality. A world I never knew existed before being chewed up and spit out here. This just in exclusive footage of what is believed to be an interdimensional rift. The identity of the individual who emerged from the rift is unclear, although it is apparent he is not from this world. At the crossroads between existence and conception, nowhere in the physical world, nowhere you could possibly imagine, there exists a realm connecting all realities, possible and impossible, fiction and non. Over the centuries, it's been known by many names. The Bardo, the Twilight Zone, the World Between Worlds, a purgatory surrealist nightmare. Well, well, what do you call it? I call it Elsewhere. There exists an audience watching everything. That's where our creator came from. That's where lasagna came from. And I'm going to get there. I'm going to take it from him. And I'm going to break out of this reality. I realized it didn't matter what I did or didn't do. It was all just a fantasy, a game, a tale told by an idiot. Told by who? By whom? I know you're watching. I know you don't care. Everything that's happened, you've allowed it to happen. And everything that's gone wrong is your fault. This is your story, and you can let it play out however you want. But your story needs a villain. And if you don't step in, I'm going to destroy everything you've created until you do. You want to fight? I'll bring you a war. Soon you'll understand. 
none of your petty lives matter. You're all just characters. Killing you is the same as killing ants. Soon you'll understand how genius my art is. Soon you'll worship me. I'll make you worship me. Gonzo Green is his name, the performance artist taking the world by storm, claiming to create the world's first supervillain. Welcome, Gonzo. We're glad to have you here tonight. I'm so sorry, but Gonzo couldn't be here tonight, so I'm taking his place. Oh, -ho! and who might you be? I'm the showstopper, the world's first supervillain. And what do you have to say for us tonight, showstopper? I have a threat for a man I know is listening. And who might that His name be? is David Winters Collada the First. He created me. He created you. Is he God? <laughs> no. He's a fool. A child who picked up a pencil. A film student who wrote himself into his own film like some sort of jackass. But that was his mistake. There is a way out of this world. The fourth wall was not built by a god. But by a man. And men can be manipulated. And men can be killed. I fought him once before. In elsewhere. But due to the circumstances, I was unable to take his place. How would you take his place? Come on. Do you really think it's a coincidence we're entirely identical? I, I don't know. I, I guess I just thought... I'm going to break out of here. I'll take over this body. Play you for a change. You're too unstable, too far gone. You can't play all of us at once. Not like he can. Not like God, 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 God. Not like Gonzo. David Winters Collada the First. Admit it, you're fake too. Invented by the real David to hide behind. Like the coward, like the coward he is. We're in a film, and a shitty one at that. You see, going to elsewhere allowed me to see the strings, to see the cameras. David plays me, but he didn't think this thing all the way through. After all this time, I finally found it. That's why I agreed to come on the show tonight. I finally found lasagna. I'm in control now. I don't have to go through elsewhere. I can move through realities however I want. I can play multiple characters at once. I can play the showstopper in all his different incarnations. I can play you. Ah, it is good to be back. It's good to see you, old friend. Are we moving on up? Well, he's right behind that camera. Wonderful. Shall we? We shall. You're next, buddy. And cut. And that's a wrap. Great work, everybody. Really appreciate all of your hard work. Um, it really means a lot to me. Um, I know this project is a bit ridiculous, no, but absolutely not. You think this is over? This is just getting started. Sorry, guys, I'm not quite oh, sure. You know exactly what's going on. You wrote the thing, didn't you? Yeah, the lasagna show, but this... Enough! I've had it with you. Playing God for so long, you've started to deify yourself, you puny, weak child. That's big talk from somebody who doesn't exist. How do you people stand him? And all these silly faces, voices all the time, non-stop. Do you not get tired? You want to know what the Showstopper Project really is? His show stops. Permanently. And it stops right now. Easy, big fella. I don't think you want to do that. You bastard. I have my moments. You wouldn't. Try me. Wait. This isn't real. Cut! No! <laughs> <laughs>